This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. We're back to the 80s again, the early 80s, uh, once again for this week's solo analysis, much like last week with that REO Speedwagon uh, solo we looked at, but it's a very different beast today. When I was 14 years old in 1981, this single was quite big news in the charts. I was a huge fan of Dave Edmonds, and I was also a huge fan of the Stray Cats. And the fact that they got together to do uh, a bit of a collaboration was uh, massively exciting for me. Um, fantastic solo on that song, The Race Is On, uh, in two parts. Uh, Brian sets a takes a turn and so does Dave Edmonds. And I've had a go at, bo at doing both parts myself. And it sounded like this. <laughs> So there you have it. Um, let's take a little bit of a look at what's actually going on in that solo. Solo explanation. Okay, as always, we'll begin by looking at the chord sequence. The solo is played over. There it is right there. Uh, you can see basically um, A, D and E7 with a, a B7 chord thrown in as a, a secondary dominant, uh, which basically is a way of getting from the A7 to the B7. Um, it sounds like this. Basically, that's what we're playing over, and we're in the key of A, so there's lots of blues uh, kind of ideas that you would typically see in a, in a blues in A, you know. Uh, starting with the first lick, where we basically uh, use the minor third of A, the C, and bend it towards the major third. Like that. And then the rest of the... Um, pretty much the, that part of the solo. I'm just going to have a, a little look at the tab here because I need to refresh my memory. Um, the rest of this, that part of the solo is basically coming out of an A major pentatonic here. Uh, so we have... Like that so you can see apart from this one passing note here where we're um, essentially doing a similar kind of minor and a major third thing again over the D chord this time the F to the F sharp um, you know similar kind of uh, minor third to major third that we hinted at with that thing there it's but he's basically doing the same thing again over the D chord with with that there essentially though it's all just a major pentatonic and then we come uh, up to this part of the solo here where we go so obviously they're just a minor pentatonic uh, and then we're approaching the b7 chord now so what he does is he outlines that B7 chord like that. You can see how that little kind of thing that I played there, all of those notes come from a, a B7 chord. And then we're into the E7 chord, so uh, he plays... Uh, 
that kind of thing there. Basically just a little descending double stop lick using uh, sixths. And um, the sixth in question come from the E Mixolydian. Uh, Mixolydian is um, a, a good scale to use over any seventh chord, and you know once you once you know what a Mixolydian mode is. If you don't, go back and check some of my videos that I've done on modes. Uh, but basically, it's a major scale with a flattened seventh, and you know, and that's that's basically the lick that he plays there, and that's the end of the first half of the solo. All of that was played by Brian Setzer. And at this point, Dave Edmonds takes over, again playing some uh, double stops uh, from the Mixolydian mode. We're back over the A chord for this part, though, so he's using A Mixolydian, and he's going... Like that, so that's, uh 14 and 12 on, the, uh, on those two strings, then down to 12 and 11, then 11 and 9, then 9 and 7. Or put another way, E and G... D and F sharp, C sharp and E, B and D. Then we've got this kind of little banjo roll thing that he plays next. Again, using um, uh, double stops uh, thirds from A Mixolydian. Uh, we can basically play those uh, down here like this. So we're playing like that. So 9 and 7, 7 and 5, 5 and 4. And four and two, like that. Or once again, put another way, F sharp and A, E and G, D and F sharp, uh, C sharp and E. Um, but yeah, as I say, he, there's a little kind of banjo roll thing going on here where what you do is you play those two notes, like that little bit of hybrid picking. I'm using the pick for the f note on the fifth string and the, uh, the second finger on my picking hand for the fourth string so and then the third finger on the picking hand grabs the open G string so you get like that and then just come down that succession of double stops pl putting that uh, open G string on top of all of them so you get that kind of thing there like that very effective oops like that just a nice kind of tumbling kind of thing that comes down the strings then we have again more double stops here over the d chord so so or oh, might i might play that using hybrid picking actually and, and then that's again a, another little bluesy kind of thing going on there um if you think of the a chord as an A7, which typically in a blues it would be, uh, it's got the major third in it and the flat seventh in it. And that creates um, what we call a tritone interval, which is something that blues guitarists use all the time. Like that, and he's just basically doing a little bit of that there. Um, after that, we've got some kind of minor, minor pentatonic plus major pentatonic sort of stuff going on uh, with this little sort of Chuck Berry bend here. <laughs> kind of doing that sort of double stop bend there. Seventh fret on the second and third strings. Like that, so again, just fairly um, standard kind of rock and roll sort of stuff, really. Uh, just in terms of the notes that are being used there, it's it's mainly A minor pentatonic, but this F sharp note here tends to start suggesting a little bit of A major pentatonic, which, as I say, we've used already. And again, doing that kind of bend there, which is again that it's that minor third bending towards the major third that we saw at the beginning of the solo and then the, the final lick in the solo is so that final part of that um, uh, where are we uh, Just A major pentatonic, finishing with that sort of very cliched country kind of bend. 
like that and then just a little bit of kind of bluesy minor plus major pentatonic sort of stuff going on ahead of that so there you go that's what's going on in the solo uh, lots of um, great ideas you can get from that using uh, sixths using thirds using that little banjo roll technique mixing the minor and major pentatonics together using the mixolydian mode that might be new to you um, you know just so that kind of thing there's a lick right there that is going to be massively useful in a whole host of uh, situations um, so Take what you've learned and go away and have some fun with it. And as always, you'll find a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing the solo, that explanation you've just seen there, and a backing track for you to have a play along with yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is, as always, in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these good bits and pieces and extra goodies and resources that go along with these YouTube lessons. A massive heartfelt thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are also linked down in the description. And that is pretty much it for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like while you're at it. Don't forget, as always, the live stream every Friday 5 p.m. UK time where we drink beer and talk music and guitars. What a fantastic way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.